And sometimes we simply can't let tobacco companies in our communities go unchallenged, which is why Doc makes house calls at many tobacco-sponsored sporting and cultural events. These house calls generate media coverage and serve to embarrass both the tobacco industry and the local groups who are taking their money. Look what chewing tobacco does to you. We just appreciate it if, you, if, you, if we have plenty of room for you to demonstrate. We're not doing anything demonstrating right now, so we're done. We did all what we had to do Great. here. Okay. Do you guys take any responsibility for what you're doing, allowing these people to come in the door like that? Sure we do. In fact, Copenhagen used to sample here in school. Right. They don't do that anymore. Why not? What's wrong? Why not with sample? Well, we've asked them not to do that. Why not? But I'm not Why I, shouldn't you allow I'm them to okay, sample? Let me stop this right now. I'm with the Rodeo Association, yeah. and we just like to go outside. You can, we'll we'll yeah. provide a place for you to do that, and we are going to take you out here in a nice way. Yeah, now, fine. But we're not going to listen to you any longer. Right. All right. <laughs> Perhaps protests are a little uncomfortable for some, but they bring results. Gradually, these house calls are raising public awareness and laying the foundation to throw tobacco out of sports. Doc has been encouraging health professionals and community leaders alike around the world to move beyond pamphlets, posters, and preaching to counteract the use and promotion of tobacco. Whether it be in the clinic, classroom, or community, all health professionals, students, teachers, and businessmen and women need to be involved. What it takes is a little time, creativity, commitment, and above all, caring. How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm Doc.